annoyed with Apple bundling your HomeKit accessories together? We'll show you how to fix that in this video. Hey guys, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel where we bring you new smart home content every week looking at Apple HomeKit, some Amazon, some Google, some Home Assistant. If that sounds like it might interest you, please do me a favor, consider subscribing below. In this video, we're going to look at fixing something that Apple screwed up in iOS 13, or at least in my opinion, got wrong. Um, in iOS 13, Apple introduced a new feature in the HomeKit UI where they forced all accessories bundled together rather than the way it was before where they exposed them as separate accessories even though they may be the same physical thing. So for instance, if you had a Echobee uh, remote thermostat, remote temp sensor that was actually a temp sensor and an occupancy sensor, those would be exposed historically as two different things. iOS 13, 13.1, all of that, single tile. Kind of annoying, especially if you wanted to see all the things at the same time. Um, again, this affected a bunch of different devices in a bunch of different ways. We're going to show you quickly how to fix that problem today because we can fix it in iOS 13 too. Thank you, Apple, for listening and, and fixing something that you never should have touched in the first place. So as with many things with HomeKit, um, it's really easy to fix this. You just have to know where to look. So we're going to go and find any device. And in this case, I'm going to choose the Boys Room Echo P devices. And as you can see, this is actually a motion sensor and a temp sensor. So if we go into the settings on this, we can see there's now a new option to say show as separate tile. That easy, right? That gets us back to where we were pre iOS 13 and allows us to see multiple tiles. We can see our temperature right there. We can see the motion sensor. We can get the status of both of them. And this is going to work on pretty much all the devices that were bundled in iOS 13. Comments, questions, please let me know below. Likes always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon.